Welcome to the Daily Radio Bible for Kids. The date is September the 21st. My name is Hunter, and we are reading through the Bible. That's something we do every day. We take time in God's Word. We let His Word take its time on us. In fact, kids from all around the world gather here to listen to these amazing stories from the Bible, from Genesis all the way to the book of Revelation. And today we are back in the Gospel of Matthew. Peter denied even knowing Jesus. How did he feel after he did this? Let's read about it from Matthew 26. Meanwhile, Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. A servant girl came over and said to him, You are one of those with Jesus, the Galilean. But Peter denied it in front of everyone. I don't know what you're talking about, he said. Later, out by the gate, another servant girl noticed him and said to those standing around, This man was with Jesus of Nazareth. Again, Peter denied it, this time with an oath. I don't even know the man, he said. A little later, some of the other bystanders came over to Peter and said, You must be one of them. We can tell by your Galilean accent. Peter swore, A curse on me. If I'm lying, I don't know the man. And immediately... The rooster crowed. Suddenly, Jesus' words flashed through Peter's mind. Before the rooster crows, you will deny three times that you even know me. And he went away weeping bitterly. Wow. That's so hard. When Peter realized what he had done, he was broken. He was so sorry. He wept because he was so ashamed of himself to have denied Jesus. There may be times when we feel that way in our relationship with Jesus or even our relationship with other people. We might be just like Peter. And as hard as that is and as sad as that is, the good news is that Jesus came to forgive all of us because we're all just like Peter. He came so that he might die for our sins and forgive us and bring us into the relationship that he has with his Father, that we might have life in God, that we might have abundant life in joy, because God is making all things new. And that, my friend, is great news. But hey, we've done it. We've done it again. We've spent another day in the Bible. And I plan on being back here again tomorrow. Lord willing, and the creek don't rise, we'll be here. Until that time, let's go forward in God's joy. Let's let his joy be our strength. And let us always remember this, that you are loved. No doubt about it. All righty, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. You take care. Bye-bye.